Hey everyone, it's Benjamin here and in this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to make an old school design inside of Canva. So if you're ready, let's get started. Before we jump into this video, I just want you to know that every single step in this video is easy to follow and just imagine yourself being able to create this design inside of Canva. So this is the design we are going to be creating. So all I just have to do is to click on add a page and you would see, you know, I now have a new page. So what you need to do is to set the dimension 1080 by 1350 and you should get the same thing like this. The first thing we will do is come into photos in photos, just search for concrete. Okay. Concrete wall texture. And once you, you know, type that in into the search box over here you, there are going to be so many things you'll be finding so i'll just go for this one right click on it and set image as background okay then i will just come here and click on transparency reduce it a little bit you understand then the next thing i'm going to do is to come to edit image still with your background selected come to adjust in adjust scroll down a little bit and you see tint okay so scroll the tint all the way to you know to the left after you do that the next thing i want you to do is to press c on your keyboard for circle okay so c on your keyboard for circle increase the size to something like this the color i'm using is let me just fetch the color for you so 940b62 that's the color code for this particular um shape i'm using right now okay so when you do that we will now come to photos again okay and in photos we are going to search for cool young guy okay cool young afro guy holding boom box then you see all of these options over here so in this case you can choose any of the options at all i would go for this because this matches or fits what we want you know the excitement the energy is what i'm looking for i'll increase the size you know a little bit and position it here then i come to edit image in edit image i'm going to search for bg remover click on it and would allow canva to remove our background so while we wait for canva to remove the background of our image what i want to talk to you about is canva pro just in case you're looking at doing more inside of canva when it comes to removing background images when it comes to publishing canva design directly from canva to any social media platform when it comes to resizing your canva design into so many other dimensions with a click canva pro can help you do that and also when it comes to adding multiple brand kits inside of canva is so easy when it comes to canva pro so i want you to be able to use it so i have a special link in the description box below that would help you to use canva pro for free so check it out and the next thing i want to talk to you about is some animated instagram story template i have created for you and this is to help you you know cut down the time you always use to design instagram stories so there's a link in the description box below that should help you to get your template so let's dive back into canva and let's continue with our design okay so you can see the background of our image has been removed so what i'm going to do is to click on apply so that canva should save our design so after your design is saved this is what i want you to do you can see from here there are some elements we added and that's exactly what we are also going to do over here so the first element we are going to be searching for is old tv okay so just search for old tv there are so many options we would have from here i will select this one come to edit image okay and choose bg remover so that the background of this can be removed so you can see we also have some old cv like i mentioned so what you have to do is search for vinly i don't know how this is pronounced but v i n y l y record okay so once you search for that you see we have some old series over here and at this point you can choose any of them so i'll choose this one and also keep it here then we have some cassettes so c a s s e t t e cassettes so that's what we are also going to search for you know any of this is fine so i will choose um let me choose choose this one okay and move it down here so you can see we have you know most of the elements we need so this is what i'm going to do let me just move these ones here you know and position my tv over here so now that i've added my tv over here um i positioned it there intentionally so that we can hide the cutout part of our image okay so i position it here then i'll lift my man over here a little bit select the circle at the back and maybe reduce the circle a little bit then i would reduce this one also okay with the cassette come here rotate it a little bit and send it behind all right then i'll choose my cd also reduce the you know size of it send it also backward okay 
and it should also be behind this gentleman we have over here so you can see we are almost doing the same thing we have over here so let me rotate it this way and um, let me just trim my image okay so i will reduce the cassette a little bit and i would move it down here and just make it come out from here but the thing is we would want to give our image a particular vibe so what i'm going to do is i'll select this tv over here come to edit image come to adjust in adjust we are going to move the all the tints of every element here to negative 100 so i select the guy also over here all the way to negative 100 the cassette negative 100 and the old cd over here to negative 100 so you can see we are now matching a certain vibe so then i can select everything over here and reduce the size just a little bit so we have something like this okay so after we do that we'll just press t on our keyboard to add some text move the text to the top a little bit and i would come to my font so here you can choose any font at all you want but i'm going to stick to this you know the made tommy black so i would double click on it and i'll just say flashback okay so the flash should be big all right position it here duplicate it and i'll uh, position it here and i'll say back okay so i would also increase the size of this so, so that it matches um the flash okay so when i do that i'll select the two text i have reduce it a little bit over here and you know position it here then i come to colors and in colors i'll choose you know this one because that's what i'm using in my design okay then i'll drop this down a little bit come over here choose the text you can rotate it slightly if you want okay then i move it up a little bit come here i think this is a little bit too big i reduce it more and position it here then select my text increase the size a little bit right click and send it to the back so what i'm going to do is to add some slight shadows to this text over here so select the flash come to text effects and choose shadow okay then in shadow we'll change the color to black okay so this is the black and we'll just increase the blurriness of it okay then we're going to do the same thing for the back okay so effect shadows change the color to black then you would increase the blurriness a little bit oh this didn't change so change it to black so this is what we have and the blurriness you know make it more blur okay so you can see we are about 90 percent done with this the next thing i want us to do is to come to element in element search for tender okay so we are looking for some tender strikes we will select any of this okay choose the color to purple okay and um i'll reduce the size over here what did i choose i chose yellow so then we'll just choose yellow for this so maybe yellow this yellow is fine or maybe let's see this yellow okay this yellow is fine so the color code for this is fbc646 okay then i'll duplicate it and change the color to the purple okay so then let me increase the size a little bit position this right on top of the initial tender and send it to the back then i'll move it slightly over here so that we can have something like this okay so select the two right click and group so when we group these become you know one single element so we can just move it around so i will just you know spread this around duplicate you know i can also flip horizontally but let's see if we can group the two of them it means that we can't so we'd actually have to um just use the rotation okay so rotate you can bring this on top you know duplicate you can just do so many things that's all you want to do with this so i reduce the size rotate it more like this you know do the same for this and i would you know also reduce the size of this position here okay so you can see what we are actually creating okay and the next thing you can also do is to add some text at the bottom so with this you can just choose any font at all you want okay but i will just select this font and copy and paste you understand because i know you can do it so i'll copy come here and paste okay, which means that all of this would have to be reduced slightly okay so this is what we have at the moment so so the last thing i want us to do is there is this shadow i want us to add beneath this 
TV over here. So all you need to do is to go to the elements.theafricangeeks.com and search for shadow. Okay, you'd find a shadow I'm actually going to show you in the design so that you can just download it and upload it on Canva. Then you would use it in your design. So I would come to uploads and in uploads, I just have to scroll down. So this is the shadow I am going to be using and I will just, so reduce the size, okay? And what we can do is we can duplicate, you know, actually let's create a new page over here. Okay, and I'll move this here because I don't want it to disturb what we've done so far. So I'll duplicate it this way, position it here, duplicate, you know, position it here, duplicate, you know so that we can create uh, a long sort of shadow okay so you can see what i'm doing i will duplicate it again position this one here duplicate position you know okay so this should be here you know so something like this okay then we select all and group it then we just come to the top over here position this you know you can reduce the size and send it behind the tv okay so you can see how this is looking so if i'm to zoom out you can see how this looks so this is what i wanted to show you how to design hit on the subscribe button and as well as the bell icon so that you do not miss any of my future videos also i would love for you to hit on the like button just to support this video then check my channel also for more canva tutorials the name is benjamin always remember there is no limit to creativity i would see you in my next video <laughs>